So now that we've set our pressure network catalog, we can go ahead and actually start creating pressure network part lists. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and set our pressure network catalog to the Imperial AWWA push on. I'm going to click OK. And then inside of pressure networks, down under parts lists, you have the option to use the current standard one that's currently in the drawing. And you can right click and edit and add in pipes and fittings and appurtenances, just like we did for pipes and structures when we did pipe networks. We would just right click, add material. For the push on parts list, there's no additional materials. There's only ductile iron here. So you can right click and add size and select your sizes or fittings, same thing. I'm actually gonna create one new parts list to work with for a future drawing. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna go to parts list. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna go to my information tab. I'm gonna call this 12 trunk. And then I'm gonna click onto the pressure pipes. I'm gonna right click on here. I'm gonna click add material. I'm just gonna select ductile iron. I'm gonna select okay. I'm gonna drop down, right click on ductile iron, click add size. I'm only gonna do a 12 inch pipe for this network. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Uh, and then I can move on to fittings. Under fittings, I'm gonna add type. I am not gonna deal with any crosses or T's. I'm only gonna have elbows. So I'm just gonna check elbow and click okay. I'm gonna drop this down and right click on the elbow, add size. I am only dealing with 12 inch pipes. So I only need to deal with a 12 by 12. I'm gonna add in all of the bend angles that we have available to us so that we have all the options available to us when we're doing our pressure network layout. So I'm gonna start with 11.25. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna expand this so that we can see all the parts that we've added to make sure we have them all. So just add 11.25 and a 12 inch. We're gonna go and add another size. We're gonna go and select the 12 inch again. And what you'll notice is that the 11.25 is gone because we already have it in our list. So it knows that we don't need to select that option again. So we're gonna go with 22.5 and select okay. We're gonna right click again, add size, go to 12 again, and you'll notice 45 populates. So we'll click okay. Right click, add size, 12, 90 populates, we click OK. We are not going to add any appurtenances, but if you needed to add one, we're going to go and you can click add and you can choose 150 PSI or 200 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK just so you can see. I'm going to right click on this 150 PSI and click add size. I'm going to drop down here. So there is no 12 by 12 available for 150 PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and delete. And then I'm gonna right click add type and choose 200 PSI. And then I will right click and add size and drop down and 12 is available for 200 PSI. So I will click okay. So moving on from here, we now have pipes, fittings and appurtenances for our 12 inch line. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and okay. And you'll see under the parts list, 12 trunk has populated itself. Now, if you wanted to have every single part inside of a parts list that's in your part catalog, there is an option just like we had available to us for our pipe networks for create full parts list. You can see that the command prompt for that is create network parts list full. The command line prompt for creating a full parts list for pressure networks is similar. It is create pressure parts list full. So create pressure parts list and it's part, part list full. If you were to click this and hit enter, Civil 3D would stop for a little while depending on the strength of your computer because there is a absurdly large amount of information inside of the pipe networks catalog. Also, depending on which catalog you have selected, some of them have a lot more than others, but it takes a little while for it to complete an entire parts list using the create pressure parts list full. And it takes a long time to wade through all the information when you create a pressure parts list full. So I don't recommend it, especially if you're working with some of the larger catalogs. The, the one that we're working on, the push on catalogs list is a little bit smaller than some of the other ones. So it might not take as long, but 
I think it's worth the time to create a specific parts list for what you need it to do.